This is an excerpt from a conversation with Emil Jacobs, Yuan Lee, and Nathan Lewis, moderated by Andrew Revkin, brought to you by the Chemical Heritage Foundation's annual TT Chow Symposium. My question is, um, due to the amount of energy the world is currently consuming, how do you think that will affect future generations? So this is what I was saying about the current needs yeah. and the future. You know, the scientists have been gathering together year after year and said it's urgent, it's urgent, we have to change something. And it's interesting, many older people, I can convince them. Then they will turn, turn around and say, Yuen, don't you think it's too late? And then the other sentence they will say this, you won't be here anyway, why are you worry? So I often said that the young people probably should not trust anybody who will not be here 50 years from now. <laughs> they don't worry too much. A politician certainly only worry, worry for four years. But right. young people like you should be the ones who worry about the future. I think if we go on like this, we don't have future. 50 years from now, we'll be in great difficulty. We do have to change. And one important thing we are saying, go back to sunshine. We use the solar energy in different form, biofuel, or what, uh, what uh, uh, Nathan Lewis was talking about. All sorts of things we, we should tap on. But we have to change, we have to understand that if we want to change, it costs something. It costs GDP, whether you expand the forest or introduce a new technology, it costs something. It will not happen just uh, going as usual. It will not happen. Really, society has to invest in the social change. And the other thing is, we did mention about developed country and developing country. I often like to say over overdeveloped country like the United States, if everybody live like us, we'll be consuming 5.4 times the the resources are produced, so we are overdeveloped. And they are not yet overdeveloped country. We should tell not yet overdeveloped country, don't follow us. There's a better way to apply science and technology to move forward. So we have to work together. And for overdeveloped country like us, it is very important we have to reduce the carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. And that needs some transformation. Technology, Social, social transformation and personal transformation has to do it soon. And maybe starting from tomorrow, you will eat a little less meat. I move to a vegetarian because for one pound of beef, you need five pounds of corn to transform it and efficiency is a lot lower. Right. So we have to think about all those things. If you want to save yourself, we won't be here. Don't trust us. <laughs> this is great.